Sorry, our makeup has been trending on TikTok. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Fix the lighting, cause the lighting was pretty bad. But yeah, I'm gonna be following this makeup tutorial for the Siren Eyes makeup. I think there are a lot of different types of Siren makeup, but I really like this take on it specifically. I have almond shaped eyes with the double eyelid. So I'm going to take the eyeliner just above my crease. The easiest way to do liner is to make a couple dots in the shape you want it and just connect them with the liner. Now I'm just smoking out that exact same eyeliner. This is looking really crusty, but trust the process. She strategically places the glitter only right above the pupil and in the inner corner Add a little bit of champagne to my waterline this was such a slay don't even talk to me i'm so obsessed okay honestly i'm just gonna go with this for now and then um smoke it out properly in a second i'm gonna also use my black eyeshadow in this palette to do all the blending i'm gonna take this brush and do that Going back to my seat. So I just drew out this outline with, I don't even know what brand this is because everything's rubbed off, but I got it from one of my friends because she wasn't using it anymore. I'm pretty sure it was an eyebrow pencil. And I definitely think I'll have to do my eyebrows. Actually, let me do that first so I don't spend the whole time on camera eyebrow lift. I think this Siren Eyes trend came from that TikTok trend of the Siren Eyes versus Doe Eyes, like, Wait, wait, wait. I, I've actually never tried this before, but like one just looks sexier while the other one looks more soft and cute, I guess. I don't think I can do it though. Okay, sign. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> this is so hard. So I thought it'd be cool to talk about the seven feminine archetypes. This is a concept I've been thinking about a lot more recently because I keep on wondering Oh, why I'm single? <laughs> is it because I can't attract men? And I was trying to figure out how do girls flirt with guys because I like want to know how to as well. Just in case there's a guy I really, really like and I want to pull him, I have tools in my toolkit to do it. I discovered that these seven feminine archetypes existed. The concept of siren versus doe eyes just reminded me of this because it's like different attractive energy. So the different archetypes are the lover, the maiden, the mother, the queen, the huntress, the sage, and the mystic. I'm actually just <laughs> looking at this website called Women Love Power right now and I'm just gonna research this while doing my makeup and just talk about what I'm reading because <laughs> I don't actually have a lot of information on this and I'm interested now and I want to talk about in this video but I haven't done the research so we're gonna learn this together. <laughs> Apparently these different archetypes account for the different personalities within women. From what I remember, I took this feminine archetype quiz a long time ago but I remember that the lover is kind of its own category and then each one of them shapes how the lover manifests or something like that. Oh my gosh, why am I so bad at this? So it seems like the lover is basically the entire attractive essence of a woman. The lover is just like the woman's presence and magnetism, as well as I guess the natural creative energy because women hold the fetus and create a baby. And apparently it's basically like life force. Okay, wait, I'm gonna pat my concealer in. <laughs> yeah, that's how I do it. Apparently maiden is like a, it's like a more youthful arc and apparently a really good parallel to the maiden is Persephone who was a daughter of a goddess and kidnapped by Hades to become his wife so she's vulnerable and like kind of reactive apparently they're drawn to risky situations and dark abusive men but as they mature they endure significant emotional or physical loss but then because of that, they have a lot of compassion and have like profound inner strength that they can portray, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of like a ruined innocence type vibe, I feel like. Um, the next one is the mother archetype. And I feel like this one's pretty self-explanatory. She's just a caretaker and just wants to be protective and responsible. The queen also seems somewhat self-explanatory to me. She's like, she's like really regal, but apparently is also pretty attached to the idea of marriage because like the king and queen type thing. And apparently queen type women are attracted to powerful assertive men. So they have loyalty and leadership and elegance and that type of thing, but they could also be jealous and stuff. <laughs> this is so interesting. I don't usually even do smoky eyes. So this is kind of like new territory to me. So after that, we have the huntress archetype. So this apparently is the more independent. Oh fuck, bro. The more independent female spirit. This is like extremely hard, wait, to do while talking. Cause it's like a wing, but also you have to fill it in and this lighting. I'm literally using my camera as the mirror, so. Okay, I feel like it's kind of coming together. Apparently the huntress is more oriented towards self-reliance, courage, women empowerment type thing. Also sometimes they can be like emotionally unavailable and potentially even cruel sometimes. Then we have the sage archetype, which is I think 
kind of the embodiment of pursuit of knowledge and strategy. So they like to gather information, form alliances, and strive for things like discipline, power, that type of thing. And they're very emotionally objective and intelligent, but again, they can also be like a little bit emotionally unavailable and non-creative sometimes even. I think the the last time I took the archetype test, I got Sage, but I feel like I kind of changed as a person. So I'm gonna take it again and I'm curious to see what I get. And then we have the Mystic, who is apparently more introverted and focused on spirituality and inner peace. So apparently this is really conducive for creativity and soulfulness, um, but it leads to things like social isolation and that type of thing. But I guess like all of these are within one woman like we all have, we all contain these archetypes inside of ourselves, but each one might be present at different amounts depending on what we value. So that's pretty interesting. I'm gonna take the 13 feminine seduction archetypes quiz <laughs> and figure out which one I am. Apparently these seduction archetypes are a combination of the seven ones that I mentioned before and they manifest in dominant and secondary lover archetypes. The dominant ones include the siren, which is what this video is. The sophisticate, the bohemian, the goddess, the diva, the sensualist, and the ingenu, ingenu. And then the secondary lover archetypes are the boss, the coquette, coquette, the enigma, the empress, the lady, and the gammon. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the quiz. <laughs> While I do that, um, I just finished the eyeshadow part and I'm gonna do, do eyeliner. This is a random thing that I got somewhere. It's called Physician's Formula. I don't know, it's some random drugstore one. I'm gonna really quickly do my eyeliner off camera. I'm just gonna read some of the questions out loud. I would feel uncomfortable living with my partner without being married or at least engaged. Honestly, I don't think so. I'm gonna say never because low key, I'd wanna know what it's like living with them before even getting like engaged. Cause I feel like if I don't know what that's like, then I don't know them well enough, you know? I'm really careful with huge decisions like this. So I definitely want to know like full information first. I have little sympathy for people who are incompetent or those who make poor life choices. I feel like I do have sympathy for them or empathy, but I'm like a really action oriented person. So like when people come to me for help or advice, it's always really action oriented. Like what can I do to solve this? I kind of don't really have that much patience for people who just want to rant and like feel bad. And although I think feeling feelings is really valid, that's just not personally how I operate. So I'm gonna put like, slightly agree. I'm motivated by a strong desire to achieve and make a meaningful contribution to society. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty career focused, so that makes sense. In my free time, I enjoy attending lectures, cultural exhibits, or curling up with a good book. I started reading recently or like audiobooking, but I don't know if that counts because I don't think I would attend a lecture or definitely not a cultural exhibit. So I'm gonna say, Slightly disagree. I rely on my intellect and strategic alliances to cut my way through the world. That sounds kind of familiar to one of the archetypes we looked at. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I feel like something that I realized that I'm pretty good at is networking. I think a lot of stuff I get is through knowing people. So community is like really important to me. Okay, I'm gonna do the highlight part of the tutorial next. He strategically places the glitter only right above the pupil and in the inner corner. Okay, so pupil and inner corner. I prefer clothes that are stylish and figure flattering in rich, luxurious fabrics that feel good on my skin. Okay, honestly, I do like that. I'm not used to buying like high quality clothing with money because they usually cost more. I'm gonna put neutral because I do like them and I do wear like figure flattering stuff. Okay, so this was asking, I am magnetic. I connect with others and track with little conscious effort on my part. I think this one's really situation dependent on how comfortable I am. Cause especially when I'm not super comfortable, I don't think I'm particularly attractive in that sense. So I'm gonna put slightly disagree. <laughs> I think definitely a lot of other women are more actually not mm, I'm gonna put neutral because I feel like at some points I do and the more confident I get I definitely think the more attracting I get but I've been getting more confident recently but I do have issues like taking space I did the highlight Ooh, okay and now I need to do the inner eye corner I'm gonna do a little like black eyeshadow fixing I attract relationships with men who are dominating emotionally unavailable or abusive not abusive but mmm <laughs> Uh, this this is not good, huh? I do think I attract dominating personalities in men and also ones who aren't very well connected with their emotions 
<laughs> I'm gonna say slightly agree because for some reason I think it's because I'm good at listening and I like hearing ideas from people and also I'm not that good at taking space but a lot of my close guy friends like talk a lot and I don't have that much space to talk my ideal partner is powerful and established in my eyes he's a king honestly ideally like I think I want a powerful guy because I also want to be powerful I don't want a guy who I feel like isn't on the same level as me but at the same time like I honestly don't I've been contemplating over what I really want from a romantic relationship because again like the dominating guys in my life these days I'm realizing that I don't really like that as much I want someone who also like listens to me and treats me right and maybe I just haven't found the right dude or something like that but I kind of do want to King, so I'm gonna put like slightly agree in order for me to enjoy sex. I must be in an exclusive relationship preferably married <laughs> Um, I think exclusive for sure. Actually, I'm gonna put slightly agree because I think I really value exclusivity If this guy's out here like screwing other women then like bro, I don't I don't fuck with that the fuck at a dinner party Most likely to be engaged in a conversation with a group of men <laughs> Mm, okay, I've been thinking about this because I don't think I'm one of those pick-me girls But I think I do have a lot more masculine personality traits I'm gonna put slightly agree I think I'm definitely trying to be a feminine relationship more Oh my gosh, wait, there's a lot of questions I don't think I can go through them all Holy crap, there's a lot Okay, I need to like re-outline this to define it Because I realized that the TikTok had much more defined Okay, wait a second I really feel like this part should have been higher <laughs> I'm gonna fix that really fast and be back with my results <laughs> This is actually so fucked. <laughs> Dude, I'm like okay with this side. I just wanted to look more graphic, like the lids aren't filled in. Actually, I, I'll, I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, this is so bad. Wait, look at that. <laughs> Holy fuck. Why is this so hard? Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna try this one more time. Okay, I kind of just edited my makeup and I don't know the makeup just doesn't look like how it does in the other videos Because I don't know how to deal with my smaller crease to be honest But yeah, really quickly I got my results for the seduction test The lover, I actually have one of the lowest I have 52% My highest is the sage Second highest, the maiden Oh yeah, maybe it's because I'm attracted to trash men Apparently the siren archetype is dominant archetype the lover with every other score lower than 70% I guess that means they're just like attractive My results are same as before My dominant archetype is the sage so my seductive archetype is the boss Since my lover archetype is 50% I need it to be above 70% in order to activate my like seduction power I guess <laughs> I like the hair though. This is really random, but I've gotten into the habit of twisting my hair like this and then wrapping it around each other, tying it, and then it just like does a natural heatless curl and it like tames my hair because normally it's like super poofy. Anyways, the boss, your command power in the boardroom and the bedroom. <laughs> Please, when a successful man meets you, he's met his max. Stop. Okay. Uh, it says, unlike the siren, you do not need to connect in order to feel fulfilled. When a man senses that you do not fundamentally need him, you ignite his instinct to chase and conquer. Okay, so does that mean in order to attract men, I need to act like I don't need them? Interesting. I just need to lean fully into my values, which is like building my career while finding someone who's enough to match me, I guess. Who will treat me well, but who's also similarly as driven. Dude, I don't know, man. Okay, my cool demeanor, while potentially fascinating, can also work as armor, repelling more than it attracts. <laughs> No! Wait, that like 100% happens because I definitely know some of my friends, they're like, how do I get guys to like stop falling for me? Or like, all my guy friends are all my friends because they're interested in me. But I've never run into this issue because I feel like it's either that I make friends with guys who are unavailable or like guys who wouldn't make the first move because I just give off that type of energy where I wouldn't really accept that. Question mark is my final look. Honestly, I do like the way it turned out. I wish I kept it what it was at before, but this one's still nice. I feel pretty... But overall, I'm like pretty happy with this look. I think it'll definitely be different on different eye shapes, but that's it for today, guys. Comment down below what seductive archetype you are. <laughs> and let me know if you're also a boss. See you in the next one. Bye.